Uh, let's continue our focus now on Washington, D.C., and a trip that one lawmaker may be making. Reportedly, Nancy Pelosi, the House Speaker, is set to perhaps visit Taiwan. She is the first uh, Speaker of the House in decades to have made that trip, and it comes at a delicate time. Our Rick Newman is here with more on this, especially a delicate time because of the sort of remaking of geopolitics that was caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Right. So uh, Pelosi's office has not confirmed this, but she's going to Japan over the weekend. And uh, some Japanese media are reporting that she's going to stop in Taiwan after she visits Japan. And the reason this is a big deal is China does not recognize uh, Taiwan as an independent uh, country. And it probably would like to annex Taiwan and make it part of China sometime in the future, similar to Russia's attitude toward Ukraine. So uh, I think it would be no accident at all if Pelosi actually does uh, make a stop in Taiwan. This would be th this would basically be she would be going as an emissary of the Biden administration. She would not be doing this on her own. Uh, so since she is the same party as President Biden, uh, and she coordinates closely with President Biden. I think this would be viewed in Taiwan very favorably as a kind of endorsement from the Biden administration. And China has said if this if this happens, there will be, quote, consequences. So without knowing what those are, uh, this is this would be a pretty bold move. And so then what, I guess? is the question. If indeed she does go, especially, you know, not only do you have the geopolitical stuff, you also have um, what has been sort of going on in terms of supply chain issues, right? You have Taiwan Semiconductors, one of the biggest suppliers um, of semiconductors, and it's sort of tendrils, if you will, in the global um, supply chain. It's also a part of all of this. So do you have, is there a risk of you know, repercussions for the relationships, both for the business community and politically? I mean, I, I know it's a lot of extrapolating here, but what should we be watching yeah. for? Well, there, there's also the uh, Trump tariffs on uh, imports from China, which Biden has left in place. So th the relationship bet between the United States and China clearly is more tense than it was, let's say, uh, 10 years ago during the Obama administration. I don't think anything's going to change about the the trade relationship. I mean, the reality is both nations need the trade relationship, but China has not denounced the Russian invasion of Ukraine, uh, and it is it is sort of standing as uh, a hesitant, let's call it a hesitant partner of Russia. Um, and I think the Biden administration just is doing a little bit of muscle flexing and saying we're paying attention. Uh, so we're not gonna we're not going to ease the pressure on China, uh, and we are going to do that by standing with Taiwan. Very interesting stuff. We'll see if indeed Pelosi does make that stop this weekend when she is overseas. Thank you so much, Rick. Appreciate it.